Every day, thousands of Americans utilize their passports while traveling abroad. Recently, the United States government has proposed a new system of electronic passport containing RFID tags to help improve document security and efficiency. RFID tags are tiny devices which store data that can be read wirelessly. In response to security concerns, the State Department has implemented several security features. Flexilis has recently discovered a critical vulnerability which may put Americans at risk of criminal threat and terrorist attack. I'm not talking about identity theft. This vulnerability represents targeted physical attack against American citizens. We will now take you to an undisclosed location to demonstrate the real world implications of this vulnerability. Despite proposed security measures and upcoming electronic passports, the design set to be deployed in October 2006 has a critical security vulnerability that may put Americans at increased risk while traveling abroad. Now, we're going to analyze how the proposed system works, demonstrate the real-world threat associated with this vulnerability, and take a look at possible methods for improving this design. The current RFID passport proposal utilizes a small shield that is designed to mitigate the threat of skimming from long distances when the booklet is closed or nearly closed. When open, a passport can be freely read by the appropriate authorities. This may prevent reading when the passport is completely closed. However, when slightly open, the passport can still be read. This is a serious problem. A passport can easily become partially open in a pocket, purse, or briefcase, subjecting the holder to serious vulnerabilities. In this situation, the shield cannot nullify the reader's magnetic field. Instead of preventing tag reads, the shield simply increases the power required to read the passport. The onboard antenna is detuned due to the proximity between the shield and tag. This problem can be virtually eliminated by implementing an improved shielding system. The read zone of a passport needs to be made one directional by using a conductive inlay on both the front and back of the booklet and a special tag assembly. This allows tag reading when the booklet is open, but prevents reading when the booklet is closed. The current passport proposal specifies an encryption and authentication standard called basic access control, which means that even if you can access a passport, you cannot steal the data off of it. However, even knowing that somebody is carrying a passport or where he or she may be carrying it is a serious security vulnerability. Even more important, it may be possible to fingerprint the characteristics inherent in each country's RFID passport, identifying the nationality of the holder. This may allow terrorists to craft explosives that only detonate when a citizen of a certain country is nearby. We're going to test the readability of the current proposed design and the improved shield design while both are partially open and have identical tags and layouts. We designed this trash can that will detonate a small charge when it detects an RFID passport nearby as a proof of concept as to what a terrorist could do. This dummy will have a partially open passport at its waist simulating what would happen if you had a passport in your pocket. Now we're going to test the current proposed passport system. When the dummy passes by the trash can, the charge will detonate indicating that the tag was read, even though the passport is only open half of an inch. Now, we're going to test the improved shielding system. As you'll notice, the passport will remain safe. So let's recap what we just saw. With the current proposed standard of electronic passport, even when open one half of an inch, the passport was capable of being read from up to six inches away. This translates to potentially devastating consequences when in the hands of a terrorist. With the improved standard, we noticed that when open a half of an inch, the passport was not capable of being read. This means that when in your pocket, purse, or briefcase, your passport is secure. Given the 10-year lifespan and the critical nature of data on passports, it's vital that we address this security vulnerability before passports are deployed in late 2006.